Thank you. Imagine a world without zero. A world without nothingness. A world of chaos. Destitute. Prostitute. Constitute. Irresolute. Imagine. It is hard to imagine a world without zero. With our modern abstract approach to numbers, zero seems a simple and obvious concept. But in the beginning, mathematics was concrete, a practical tool used to count things. The reason we couldn't imagine zero was because we didn't need to. But as the utility of math changed, so did the way our minds thought about it. Merchants and government officials making inventories and finding they had zero fish would simply write, no fish. With the invention of writing, civilizations like the Babylonians developed a place value system, which worked similar to our base 10 system. Like a written abacus, once a place value reached its limit, the place was cleared and the next value increased by one. For centuries, this clear spot was left blank, or marked by a dash. This was the first use of zero as a placeholder. But numbers still started at one, because counting something of no value wasn't worth counting. The evolution of the number zero parallels the evolution of the human mind as mathematics transforms from a tool to an art. For this journey, we must take a journey to a journey land through time. Who invented zero? I would say the cavemen invented zero. Excellent answer. And what would your life be like without zero? Very, very empty. Why? Because I would have, well, actually it would probably be full because I would have everything. If I didn't have zero, that means I would have everything, so it would be full. But it would be empty because I would have so much that, I don't know. <laughs> Diane? <laughs> um, I would say my life would be full without zero because I would have everything. If you can't have zero, you've got to have something. That's right. i got to have something if I don't have zero. But I would have everything so I wouldn't know what it's like to have nothing. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just stopped traffic in front of the grocery store for like 20 minutes. Yeah. In the 7th century, an Indian mathematician by the name of Brahmagupta wrote down the first ever definition of zero as a number in its own right. If you add zero to a negative number, it equals a negative number. If you add zero to a positive number, it equals a positive number. This book was important because it was the first time zero was recognized as a value on the number line. With this concept tacked down, the possibility of negative numbers was realized opening up a new dimension of mathematics. If you multiply zero by any number, the product is zero. But if you divide any number by zero, it is infinite. We now know that this assumption was incorrect. You cannot divide by zero. But by studying the limit that approaches zero, by dividing a number by smaller and smaller amounts, we arrive at the same assumption made by the Indians. Hello there. Give me a drink. Many ideas, especially math and science, during the Islamic Revolution, changed hands between the Arabs and the Indians. These ideas were mixed in with current Arabic mathematics, which were already quite advanced for their time, and dubbed Al Jabir, meaning the reunion and translated into their own Arabic system. It is an important note that the minds at this time had also grasped some concept of zero. Ready? Mayan one. Action. Wait, wait! <laughs> zero! You gotta give us more work.
But since it was on the other side of the world, nobody really cared. Thank you. Any <laughs> Ali? Ready? Mm hmm. Who invented zero? Um, I believe that the highest power in the universe invented zero. All right. And what would your life be like without the number zero? Um, I don't believe life could exist without zero because it is the epitome of everything and nothing at the same time. During the Islamic Renaissance, a time we have come to know as the Crusades, these ideas and others were shared with the Europeans. There's only God! Perhaps we should get something to dispose of that one. Yes, someone go find a tin can or something, maybe. Zero business is just nonsense. It's getting pretty hot. Yeah, so you can blow it out if you need to. Ah, now there is zero fire on the paper. Just as religion had inspired the creation of Zero, it seemed now it had ordered its destruction. Action! Just as religion had inspired the creation of Zero, now religion had ordered its destruction. All right. One time shot. Uh, shoot. Don't go out. Oh my. Okay, bad idea, bad idea. Um, well, you see, the thing is... The candle's out. Okay, it's out, I think. Basically. Save this. The rest, we've got to put it... Okay. Give me something. Kyle, uh, under no. the black thing again. Under the black stuff again. No. No. Well, you see, if you blow on it, it's in. Um... Okay, don't blow on it. Don't put insulation on it. And you got the hose. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, you got the hose. Okay, that's good. That's good. Alright, and we recorded the whole thing.